From Krimo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Banking giant First National Bank in September unveiled the first phase of its Bank City campus revitalization project in the Johannesburg CBD. Tasneem Bulia tells us more. It took nearly 130,000 hours to produce brand new retail spaces in a colorful Fraser Street surface which connects Pritchard and Chappie Streets. FNB CEO Jacques Sellers outlines the rationale behind the investment in the campus. Uh, this year we executed a great new uh, external experience for our, our employees. Uh, we have about 12,000 employees on the campus, about 180,000 square meters in, in our space here. And, uh, and we all know that uh, FNB and the innovation theme has clearly created topics that people are very excited about. Um, but what is important to back that up with is to match the employee experience on the campus. So think of us like we've got Google topics, we also want to have a Google experience. And so outside here today we put on display a lot of new colours, a lot of flavours. Uh, we've got uh, a whole different experience to eating and restauranting and, uh, and, and shopping a bit uh, to make sure that our employees who spend so much time in our campus actually has a great experience when they are here. Uh, so that's very exciting for us. We, we see that as phase one of a nice journey. All of the buildings that we have here are going through an internal refresh. Uh, so these external experiences make it, make it cool for us. The revamped Bank City Precinct hosts various retail outlets, offering a diverse range of eateries, shopping and lifestyle options for employees, as well as all residents of and visitors to the inner city. This ties into the company's commitment to enterprise development and enabling the growth of small businesses. Clearly one of the things we work hard on is supporting small business. Um, all the execution here, except for two or three things that we had to uh, buy, has been from local suppliers. Uh, they've been local contractors and local, and you see the vendors out here. I think we've got about 35, you know, sort of retail uh, little businesses around here, which are we clearly support from an employee perspective. So it's a great investment into the local local community. But as you know, we spend a lot of time on helping small business across the entire country and in all the markets in which we operate. A notable facet of the precinct is an Imadiba installation. There's a nice theme building around a Madiba museum where they really want to take the Madiba uh, sort of experience out into communities. And uh, we put uh, one of the executions out here. It's effectively a replica of the dimensions of Madiba cell on Robben Island, but it's, it's turned into a little reflection bench. So, so it's a great place for us to sit together as, as teams and to reflect on whether you know, our projects we're working on are relevant, but more importantly, what role we play in society. Um, FNB knows, I mean, we've been around for 180 years and these reflections are important to make sure we're always in touch. The investment is a testament to FNB's commitment to inner city revitalization and to the city itself and the country. In all of the markets which we operate, we invest in the local campus. They're not there because we're trying to impress people or trying to, it's, it's about demonstrating commitment. We are in Bank, Bank City is our home. Homes are different than, uh, and than houses. Uh, our homes have got things where there's memory, there's been experiences, there's been some goods and some bad days, there's been some tears and some laughter and some celebrations. And uh, so and Bank City for us is uh, FMB's home. Uh, we are here for a very long time, 180 years from today. We hope we'll still do the same interview and then we will be able to demonstrate that we've been able to stand the test of time. We live in a time where innovations come at, all, at us from all angles. Uh, we are committed to deliver to whatever the communities want and hopefully we'll survive in 180 years. So you'll, say, you'll see the same investment like in Durban. We've got in Mtlanga, we've got a, a big, big campus. We've got one in Portside in Cape Town. We've got uh, Pretoria, we've got you know, Santon area, we've got Fairlands, we, even our countries which we operate, Bintuk, Gaborone, we make big commitments that we are local and we have for a for long run. FNB aimed to create an environment that was safe and welcoming for staff, residents and visitors to the inner city. Organisations like financial services, it's all about people. It's not about a machine or a gadget. In fact, if you come up with a gadget, next week it will probably be replaced already by a newer innovation. So, uh, so we are for uh, like trying to create the right environment for people to come work. And I said it just now, if we have Google topics, you know, and we create the Google environments, hopefully that creates a setting and scene for our employees to, and then we match it with a great culture. Um, you know, often we say you can work in any place, but if your culture is good and people getting, get empowered to deliver, right, and, and they're allowed to be heroes in whatever it is that their talents are, 
uh, whether it's finance or technology or legal or IT or quant. It's just marketing, there's just so many different facets of people uh, being able to really excel at their games. So it's that culture that we think that we've uh, created a nice environment uh, at, in First Strand broadly, and there's obviously FNB specifically. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.